Welcome to Betty Healthy Kitchen. Today we want to marinate our fish. What I have in my hand, this is tilapia fish. I'd already washed them, cleaned them, and already put a little bit salt. Now, apart from that one, what are we going to use to marinate our fish? We have these onions. Sorry, this one is supposed to be here. We have the onions. I have this chili. I have tomatoes. I have these uh, different kind of paprika. And I also have fresh turmeric. These ones I'm going to blend inside the blender and then I'm going to fry them here. Then later on I'm going to show you how we are going to blend uh, to uh, I mean to blend the fish not to blend sorry to marinate the fish <laughs> English is going away we are going to show you how you're going to marinate our fish thank you very much I'm coming back our onions are here next I'm just going to take a little piece of this uh, chili because it's always very hot so you have to be very careful when you're using it you push it there and then our different kind of paprika this one is the red paprika yellow paprika I decided to use the carrots also. These ones you have to wash them very clean because otherwise your food might be might have some soil which is not good. You put them in the blender also. My last part of the paprika. My fresh turmeric. Tomatoes. You just cut them into big, big chunks because you're using a blender. It's going to blend them soft. And then for this lemon, I'm going to remove, to peel it off. Cut it also into small pieces for easy blending. And then we are going to use olive oil. No, I'm going to use the normal kind of liquid oil for the mixture. You just put some oil inside to mix. This one we are not using. And then salt. Yes, I'm going to use as usual my himalaya salt and this i need a tablespoon a spoon. just one teaspoon is enough for the blending or you can even put two These ones should go on the side because you don't need them anymore now. 
your working area should always be very clean I think I need to use something bluish something some little water maybe just to make it easy for the blending Meanwhile, the oven should be on because once we finish with this, we are going to marinate our fish and we have to put it in the oven and it is supposed to be hot already. So you put it at 200 degrees to make it hot. As I told you, sometimes the clock at the bottom so you just need something to free them up it's ready switch on there our cooker and we put some little oil not so much because we had already used oil to blend our ingredients we leave it to get a little bit hot because we want to fry our ingredients inside there ready for blending ready for marinating our fish now we are going to fry our sauce Now, this is the sauce that you are going to use to marinate our fish. Just cook it just a little bit and then we add some little powdered paprika. This powdered paprika is not hot, it is just for color. You must make sure that all that is clotted inside have to be made into mix to mix in the paste. Put it on the side because you've already used it and then this is curry powder this is curry powder the curry powder we're also just going to use a little bit and then we stir them inside evenly so that each and every part of our sauce to get the curry powder and all the ingredients to be enough I'm going to add just a little bit of this sauce now this sauce being that it is crushed and it is only also cooked if you don't use it all, you can take it, put it in a container and then just refrigerate it because you can still also use it another time on a different kind, with a different kind of recipe. You don't have to throw it away.
मेन पॉइंट यूस्टा Now, while our sauce is going on, what are we going to use to eat our fish? We have this plantain. I'm going to show you how you're going to make the plantain also. Meanwhile, our sauce is cooking softly here. We're just taking some time. And don't forget, the oven is also on. Stirring it just slowly by slowly, reduce the heat a little bit. The plantain that you're going to use, so you have to make sure that they are already washed clean. You cut them, you open the peel using a sharp knife. Meanwhile, our oven is on, it is getting warm, and our sauce is also ready. We're just going to marinate our fish just in a, in a short while. Now, normally, um, I always advise somebody to slice the plantain in this way so that they are flat enough to be marinated and when you put them in the oven they can cook easily without the inside not getting cooked so you just slice them in in this manner as you can see they are ready put on the side We take a bowl put them inside and ready for marination as I can as you can see our sauce is ready so let's first of all I'm going to marinate the banana, the, the plantain, not banana. You just take a little bit of that and pour on top. And using that, you marinate it. We put it there to wait for the fish. Okay, now it is time to marinate our fish. Let me take a spoon. Now, as I told you earlier around, this fish, this is tilapia, I had already cleaned it and I salted it also. And now it is time to marinate it and put it in the oven. Our oven is running. You put just a little bit of the sauce inside.
just move the pan a little bit nearer and then you marinate it just like that you put in the slit areas <clears throat> you turn on the other side also so nicely so evenly in the slit area so that the marination goes inside the fish very well on the head also where the gills are i removed the gills i always don't use the gills i remove them <coughs> and then the second one very nicely evenly spreading <clears throat> and it is always advisable that you cut this you slit the fish like this so that the marination can go well inside meanwhile I need to use this to put it a little bit suspended, not to lie directly on the foil. The other one also, I do the same. It is always very important that when you're making something like this, you put on your your hands, sh your shoes. <laughs> you put on your gloves. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <laughs> you put on your, your gloves so that whatever you're making should always remain um, hygienic and your hands should also not be like now we are using the, uh, the fresh turmeric, normally it, it makes the hands not clean, it turns the hands yellow. Now, this one will go together. So you just arrange the plantain just around the fish like this. They already marinated though. Just put them nicely there, ready to put in the oven, which is already running hot. You just place them nicely so that they may also be grilled well. Alternatively, you can even put... No, that does not work. So the rest of the sauce i just put them here with my hands my hands are clean with the gloves so there's nothing to worry about so and our fish is ready for the oven first of all i have to clean my hands because i cannot start the oven it is time now it is time to put our marinated fish and plantain inside the oven it is hot already so you have to be careful when you're placing anything inside otherwise you burn your hands and it's normally it's supposed to stay there for about 45 minutes one hour but i would advise you check 
when it is ready when it is not ready you can put it to cook or to, uh, to, uh, to uh, you can put it to cook a little bit longer with the way you want it to be now as you can see our fish is ready it is ready and what do we want to eat our fish with uh, we have these white cabbages i've already cut them into small pieces as you can see and then i've used mixed paprika inside just to garnish to look it to make it look appetizing now with this i'm going to use only garlic what is here already this is margarine i put the garlic inside it's cooking already I wish you could smell the garlic. Mm, it smells nice in the butter. <laughs> in the margarine. It looks, it smells really nice. And then with that, we are going, I'm going to use my usual Himalaya salt. Nothing much. And then later on, I'm going to use the fresh coriander inside that is after the cabbages or whatever that I'm cooking is ready so I start putting small small little by little just see the color what is coming out with it's really beautiful appetizing also we turn it so that it will not get burned and I want to make it a little bit crispy not well done so I can I will switch off the heat to be a little bit less Meanwhile, I just spray the salt inside. Himalaya salt is always very advisable to use because it is very healthy. That is black pepper. You just turn it and then you add the rest that is left I switch on the fire so that it does not come out okay you can even eat it the way it is but i want it to be a little bit crispy now just look at the color the, the, the mixture of red green yellow paprika the way it looks The color comes out really beautiful and appetizing also. I've already sprinkled some salt. I hope what I have is already enough. And if anything, salt is not supposed to be used so much. Just look at the color of the cabbage. I used garlic and margarine. In fact, our cabbages, it is just almost ready, as you can see it, because I just want it to be a little bit crispy, not well done. It is just almost, let me just wipe out this, this area. In my working area, I always like to keep it clean, yes. So, and then as I told you, I'm going 
to use a little bit coriander. Coriander has got that nice smell, especially when it is fresh. So I switch off my fire because otherwise it is going to be well cooked. I want it to be crispy. Now just look at this mixture. Maybe I can add just a little bit of salt and pepper. And as you can see, our meal is almost ready. This crispy cabbages you just for just for about five minutes what you need to do is just you just keep everything you make everything ready you cut the cabbages i mean wash the the cabbages you, wash, you cut them into small pieces you wash the paprika you cut paprika you cut them into small pieces and then you mix them then you get your uh okay if you want to use the onions is okay but for me this time i just thought i just want to use only the garlic and the salt that you use depends on you because maybe getting this um, uh, Himalaya salt sometimes might not be as easy for some people. And our cabbage is ready. Now, as usual, we are coming back with our fish after we have served it and we see how it looks once it is on the plate. Coming back immediately. Now our fish is ready, as you can see, I'm just serving it, removing from this, from the back, uh, back, uh, back, back, baking plate. As you can see, it is just as salivating. You just serve it like that, ready. To take to the table and then we are going to have our crispy cabbages that we're going to eat it with remember here in we have the mixed paprika you just look at the way it looks nice appetizing This is our meal for the evening. Now, remember, I didn't fry the fish. I only washed it, put some salt, and the only thing that I used oil in or was the sauce that I was frying. So, the, there is no oil and it is not deep fried. And fish that is not deep fried is really very very nutritious because we don't have that oil inside now as you can see we have our food ready here this is our that is our fish and the cabbages that we are going to use it with so our fish is ready just as usual please I have to thank you very very much first of all for being my fans don't forget to like subscribe share and press the notification button for more of more for more of this kind of recipes this one is just one of the many recipes that I'm going to represent to you. Thank you very much for being my fans.